Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to another video. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can actually save your changes in WordPress. So, every time you create a new post or a new page, new comment, media and stuff, you will always have to save these changes. So, I will show you in this video how you can actually save these changes and how you can actually save the data of your whole website so uh, in future cases, if something went wrong, you can have all of your data saved on your website. So, to do so, make sure that you have your dashboard open by going to wordpress.com slash wp admin and then, what you have to do, I will show you it by its own self. So, for example, posts. How to save them? There is no save button. There is only something like that, publish. If you click on publish, it will be saved. Of course, if you can save them as drafts, but betterly save them as as like uh, as publish so there is other things which is pages you can create pages and as well you do the same thing publish that's how you can actually save everything we've done if you've done something else you can click on updates and that's how you can save it now for example you've done something in your website and you've done a lot of stuff in your website and you wanted to keep this kind of version in your website safe so what you have to do is uh, click on import or export you can do whatever you want or even backups and here you can create a backup as you can see now he is exporting stuff and he is exporting everything to your PC and after that like after a couple of minutes everything of your website will be in a zip file you can download it and even upload it in another website if you want to copy it uh, or to make a copy of this website on, on another domain so yeah guys that's how you can actually save anything on your wordpress website so thank you guys for watching and see ya in the next tutorial bye bye